the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. You chose the sunny ways, Wilfred Laurier, and made cheerfulness and courtesy the character of the Canadian people. Where others look to divide and sow mistrust, you inspire cooperation and understanding. Show the world that a unified people can forever stand the test of time. Okay then, uh, welcome to Civilization 6. As you can see, Canadian Empire just came out, and I'm finally doing a series on Civ 6. Mainly because of Canada, because I am a Canadian. So, let's get this start and see what kind of starting point position we have and it looks like I actually have a tundra spot right here I have no slow cut there because I want to get a tundra beginning wanted to make sure I got that so looks like I do so that's good and it looks like this is a gathering storm stuff which is the new expansion, so I think I'll just cut this all out and get back to the recording when I'm done all this. Okay then, uh, now we get to play the game. Now, for the Can Canada, we benefit from Tundra. Luckily, I'm in Tundra. So, yeah, let's found our city right here. Civilization has accomplished something historic, worthy of being celebrated and remembered for generations to come. These accomplishments help our civilization reach a golden age and avoid a dark age. Yeah, so uh, before we continue, I put all the settings on easy and fast so this won't take too long to do either win or lose so let's see how it turns out now, I don't play Civ 6 that often because well the AI likes to cheat and I'm not exaggerating that. The AI likes to cheat. Oceana is my continent. Uh, yeah, it's just Oceana. Alright. That. That. Let's choose research. Now, with mining, I have two places to get, so that should help out a lot. Those same should be sealing, so I can explore more. But these provide me with some extra stuff. So I'm going to go with mining. And as for production. I'm going with the monument because for Canada it is a cultural victory you normally want to get. And I always do that with all of those. So let's see how it goes here. 
Ooh, got some cows here. Ooh, big open space. This river has flood plains, which means it has flooded before, and might burst its banks again. A flood along this river could happen at any point in the future. This presents us with risks, but potentially benefits too. Yeah, so... <coughs> with the new expansion, there is a bunch of whole extra stuff, like what just what the advisor just explained floodplains floods can happen volcanoes earthquakes snowstorms etc so we have all this extra stuff ooh that means there is barbarians up here so let's go and deal with them our city continues to prosper. Already our people thrive and our population grows. Because I got two. Let's see what's over here. <laughs> Enacting new policies in our government can be of great benefit. Our people await your decree. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? At his best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. And that is very true even to this day. Alright. Now, I'm not very worried about faith. Because I'm going with a cultural win, which I've already done in... Civ 6 here with Egypt on my own personal time. So, I'm going to be fighting barbarians a lot. <coughs> Alright, um, find a natural wonder. Uh, let's go with sailing, because once I get workers, I can send them there. I'll go with craftsmanship. Ooh, Gilgamesh with, with Sumeria. And look at that. A few turns in, find get Sumeria. So let's ah, there they are. Finally, track the barbarian raiders plaguing these lands to their source. We must destroy the stronghold, or risk future attacks. Yep, and that it is best to use caution when moving close to enemy units. Doing so <sighs> will often force the unit to be in the enemy's zone of control. Restricting its movement. Yeah. Well, I intend to take you out. That's the whole point of me bringing you over here. I guess I've ran into them over here somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna be fighting you. Oh, there they are. Which means they're nearby here. Okay. I normally do is I attack then I heal then attack again that way I'm able to maintain my strength we have discovered a city-state Oh, Establishing that. diplomatic relations with them <coughs> will surely be beneficial for our empire. Perhaps we should send them an envoy. Yes, there are several different types of city-states, and each may provide different benefits in return for our friendship. Our government, over time, 
will allow us to earn envoys to grow these relationships. Yeah, so this is helpful. Yep, yeah, and yep, it's right there. So they actually made this a whole lot easier for me. Because now, since they're. Oh, they got an extra turn there. Alright, never mind. They got that. I'm fine with it. And I'll be right back. Though our population grows, there is little room for our newer citizens. We should find a way to add more housing to this city. Okay, well, sorry for that little pause, but it's going to be another pause. There's supper here is here, so I will be eating that before con fully continuing. So, until then, get back in a short while with a jump skip. Okay then, uh, here I am, I'm back. So, let's continue. Yeah, it's upper. If you hear any other noises, that's... If you hear anything else in the background, that's... The family. Furthering this endeavor will allow us to appoint a governor to strengthen our power in our cities. So, let's continue. Reconnaissance units like scouts are unique in that they can gain experience by exploring and discovering parts of the world. It is not that life ashore is distasteful to me, but life at sea is better. Yeah, so let's get back since I'm now back from eating supper. Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Alright, um, for now I'll keep it that, for you, let's go on auto, and since there's something down there, it's best that I bring you back down here. Uh, okay, um, Pottery? Yes, let's go with pottery. Next would be foreign trade. Next, we'll get a builder so I can get some extra stuff. Yes, you are welcome.
Ooh, Aztecs. You probably know that these things are not animated, so... It's just like, I have it on that setting. Because my computer is several years old. Older than the game, so... Yeah. There's only one downside for me running in these into these two. Every game I've played so far, these two have always been the ones that attack others quite a bit. So the Aztecs are somewhere over here. Ooh, Brussels just got flooded. Okay then. <coughs> the river, Cephid River, is flooded. They could do without that extra river, just but the Cephid ri River is flooded. They might want to redo that in a patch. Uh, thankfully, damage appears to be light. Three tiles damaged. None dead, no units killed, zero tiles gain fertility. Alright. <coughs> <coughs> ah, there they are. Oh, and there they are. Okay, um, I have you heal up. Opportunity to develop a formal <coughs> trade route between two cities. A trader unit is required to establish such a route, which would be very beneficial for our economy. Yes, it will be. No man ever wetted clay and then left it as if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Okay, for some reason it stuttered there for me. Don't know if it started for you guys, but it started for me. Nation lives by exchanging. And some of them exchange through force. Alright. Um, production is currently more important. Um. <coughs> hmm. Let's go with that then now. So the Aztecs would definitely get go for it. I'm three away from this. Um well go with mysticism. Alright. <coughs> uh, no, I can't do anything on you yet, so I'll just go over here. Uh, it definitely would help get a tree going on, so let's go with that. Ooh. And... <coughs> now, this bay here is actually a pretty good place, because in order for ships to Invade, they have to go through here. Water, water everywhere. 
nor any drop to drink. Well, what do you know? That just helped me. I'm right next to it. Guess where my next city is going to be. Like that. Um, can I buy anything? Oh, yes, I can. Let's get a slinger here. <laughs> yes, there. getting that. Uh, great bath. This military unit has proven themselves. From the experience they have gained in combat, they are eligible to be granted a promotion. How will you reward these brave souls? By making them stronger, of course. They can do more damage. Now, let's bring you over to here. Yep, there we go. Got that little boost. Now, Okay, I'll just leave you there then. So, yeah, because I'll need a visual route here, which is my mistake. But, oh well. What I will do now. is create. Another slinger. Let's go to sleep for now. Ooh, Korea. For some reason, her hand looks like it's broken. Both hands look like they're broken. Oh, and there is the Aztecs. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city <coughs> Creating districts in our cities can be much more powerful and lucrative than simple improvements like farms and mines. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius and we're skeptical. Okay then, um have you Hills are more likely over here. I'm going to retreat. Let's go with writing. Science. Bath. Yeah. 
My liege, we have an envoy at our disposal. We can use the envoy to gain favor with the city-state. Becoming friendly with a city-state neighbor can be greatly beneficial to our civilization. Mysticism yeah. is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. Okay then, for you, I'll put you. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let's head away. Uh, next. Military tradition. Envoy. Gives me greater production. Okay, yeah, I figured as much he'll try to do that to me. Yeah, okay. <coughs> we have trained our first ranged unit. Capable of hitting enemies from afar, while out of the range of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yep. And... This volcano is quiet now, but it could erupt again at some point Ooh. in the future. It might be a danger to our people, or an unexpected blessing. Uh, I'm trying to pick the tiny tiles. Yada yada yada. Okay then. Six cone. All right. Oh, I found another Australia. Okay, that is unique. Um. Now, now what I do need is a sailor to come over here. I'm going to need another warrior before that, because as things are, I have some barbarian problems. So you want to fight, huh? Let's fight then. Scout versus scout. I win by default. He's being the only one who knows you're afraid. And for those who like to act like they're big shots, yes, this is true. If you're afraid, you're smart. If you're not afraid, you're stupid. It's as plain as that. <coughs> All right. Give you um Let's go with you. And there we go. And I'm just going to move you over one <laughs> away from the volcano while you heal. Civilizations have uncovered new technologies and cities, and soon the world itself will be <coughs> the dawn of a new <coughs> Our actions in this era may lead us into a golden age of our civilization, or perhaps darker days lie ahead. Writing means sharing. 
It's part of the human condition to want to share things. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. Intelligence should be added to that, because if anyone's been playing, paying attention to world politics recently, yeah. Intelligence is desperately needed. It is also desperately needed. So, production, uh, unless I can buy a settler. Oh, I can buy a settler. All right. Instead of that, go at the galley. No, not a galley. A builder. There. Defend. Defend. <coughs> oh, what do you know? And it's undefended. Alright, that's good. I'll just keep you here. Let's link up. So, yeah, so maybe around here. Ah, oh, rats. You showed up. Okay. Six turns. Yes. And... Oh, it's a good thing I'm not over here. But... Those barbarians... Have some issues. Thank you. Let's continue trying to grow. Let's wipe you out. Oh, Sumeria's over here. Um, oh, don't tell me they're gonna attack me, really. I thought so. Okay, okay. Um... We are going to have to back up, because obviously they're going to be attacking me. Alright, you. <coughs> okay then, let's go here. I'm going to have to be on guard 
with them. All right. Okay, let's get a galley. Heal up. Yeah, I figured you're going to say something like that. Let's get this. There we go. Hanging gardens. I know. St. John. Fitting name for where my holy city is going to be, even though I will probably won't get a religion. Stonehenge, yeah. We now have the opportunity to appoint a governor to our civilization. This governor will be a powerful and productive asset when assigned to one of our cities. I suggest we choose a candidate as soon as possible. Okay then. We're now ready to choose where to build our government buildings. We may only zone one of these in our empire, so choose carefully. Continue. Um There it is. Diplomat. Educator, surveyor, uh, that's her. Stillion, steward. Um. Parks and Recreation. You. Our governor is now on their way to their assigned city. <coughs> It will take some time for them to become established. Once established, their talents will come into effect, strengthening our rule there. It is equally important to have a happy and engaged workforce as it is to have a profitable bottom line. I'm actually going to move you over this way. There. I'm going to have you come out over here oh, and you I can now make a trade route as much as the money would be nice mm. let's go with you this way I can keep you at bay somewhat. To our civilization, this trade route will gradually develop roads between our cities. Roads allow our units to no longer be impaired by the difficult terrain through which they pass. Yep. Alright. You're stationed there, you're stationed there. Um, games and recreation. Uh, city state has been defeated. Oh, that has to be Genghis Khan. I'm also interested in creating a land <coughs> <which> <coughs> bronze will last for thousands of years. Well, correction, it would be Chigas Khan would be the correct pronunciation of it. Because Genghis Khan is the quote-unquote 
foreign, English, or whatever you want to call it, translation, but it's actually Chigas Khan. Okay. Wheel. Ooh, really? Uh-uh. Kumari Kendam. Time has come to choose which of our accomplishments to commemorate in our history. This will inspire our people to continue to press forward towards a path of your choosing. History marches forward, and the world has entered a new era. Born from the actions of our recent past. Okay then. Um, let's go to feed you. Make a declaration. Current age is a dark age. Yeah, it didn't get much done. Um, Well, I'm going with that. We have fallen into <coughs> a dark age. Though our cities will face loyalty challenges, with enough effort, we should be able to rise out of this dark age. We will. Yeah, so I'm starting off in a dark age. So yeah, city-states. That's the second one taken over, which means he's either Chickas Khan or Alexander. Those two tend to go after city-states quite often. So... Let's see... We are the first to go to the seas. Then let's go explore, shall we? Give you more food. Uh, I'm gonna actually have you come over here for a bit. I'll do that afterwards. Production. Considering I need to do a lot of extra stuff, um, no. Yeah, so. There. <coughs> uh, there we go, and you're a fully healed. I wipe you out. Alright, now for you, let's head you back into here, yep, there's that again. Our explorers have spotted another friendly tribal village. I suggest we send a scout to investigate. Oh, right there, okay. Oh dear. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just realign. Okay then. Um I'll bring you back to safety. You're unhappy. Okay, uh let's make a deal. As a gift. 
that should hold you off for the time being. Uh, not today. Thank you. And then send you. Um, let's make a deal. I can't give you anything. Um, I'm going to have to purchase Let's not purchase things yet. Um. <coughs> oh, actually, yes, you know what? Let's do that. Because then I can get that. You're welcome. I'm going to send you down over here. Because it looks like you have another place. turn. Yes. I know what. Let's close that. Okay then. Oh, they have Stonehenge. Okay then. Considering they are going to be giving me some problems, I'll eventually do that. So right now, it's just hope for the best. Oh, they have three. People All right. cannot find time for recreation <coughs> sooner or later to find time for illness. Yes. That is fairly true. Um, where are you? There you are. Okay, I'm going to bring you over here. <coughs> yeah, let's get an envoy. Yes. Like that. My liege, we are beginning to attract the attention of the great people of the world. Of course, there are other leaders vying for their attention too. The more specialized districts we construct, the more we will draw in specialized great people to share their talents with our civilization. I advise that we continue to build these. Alright, and okay. Looks like Korea is the one attacking. Alright. Uh, 
Ask for a promise? No. Make a deal? Never mind. Make a demand? Never mind. Eventually I'll have to save Brussels, but right now I am in no shape for that. Under the White Cliffs battlements had <coughs> pushed to a depth of more than set of peace. All right, got that. Okay then. So have you go on your way then. Oh, I know. I know. Thank you. Okay, then. There's Georgia. Okay, I'm going to need to start getting... Oh, her. In my first game with Egypt, she was my neighbor. We shared one continent. We did not fight until near the end, where she started going to war with me constantly. Another person that I have to watch out for. There's nothing I can do about Brussels just yet. Alright. Now, her, Eleanor, there's two of them. One for France, one for England. And they have different hairstyles. Uh, production. I need builders. Um, can't buy anything just yet. Okay then. I'm going to have to get Brussels back. Ugh, that means war. Of course, Canada can't declare surprise wars, so not sure how that's going to work out. Oh, please do not come attack me. you. Okay. I've had problems with him. Sometimes. Uh, let's get that there. Uh, yep. Okay. Get back here. And... After I do stuff for this turn, okay. Well, 
goes one last turn and there we go I'm gonna have to bring you up here so I can see what the heck is going on Yes, horses. All right. Now I can go to St. John. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. So. <coughs> I have three conquerors that I'm bordering, which means... I'm going to be spending a lot of time building up my military <coughs> for a peaceful nation. I have to free Brussels, gain another city somewhere north, preferably considering that I can use tundra tiles as farmland. I still haven't done that one. Okay then. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. And save. Save. And that will be the end of this video, so expect another one soon.